everyone, it's Sarah. <laughs> Welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this super simple water bottle koozie or cozy or bag, whatever you call it, it works perfect for our reusable water bottles. Now the pattern is written where you can make it in a 16 ounce or a 20 ounce size bag for the 16 and 20 ounce size bottles. Now the crochet pattern with both sizes, 16 ounce and 20 ounce, is on my blog and you can find that link down in the notes underneath this video. So what you're going to need is about an ounce of two different colors of cotton yarn or if you want to make it all in one color you need about two ounces. Now I'm using this is a yellow peaches and cream and this is premier cotton they're both hundred percent cotton they're both a medium weight number four so they're going to work just fine. I'm going to be doing the center section in yellow and then the top and the bottom in this sort of it looks like citrus orange to me and of course you can make yours however you want to you can do it all one color you can stripe it you can use your leftover cottons and just group them together and just have fun use up your leftovers to make something useful you can also use the acrylic yarns like red heart super saver in a medium weight number four if you prefer the thing is I do prefer cotton because if you're using cold water or you have some ice in your water bottle your water bottle is going to sweat and the cotton is absorbent also I just feel like the cotton holds its shape a little bit better but if you have some leftover acrylics and you want to use them that's totally fine that works too you're going to need a total of two ounces of yarn to make the water bottle. So since I'm using two different colors, I'm going to need roughly about an ounce of each. We're going to be stitching today with our H hook. This is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle to weave your ends in, and of course you'll need your scissors. We'll be starting down here at the center of the bottom of our water bottle cozy or koozie. And then we'll work our way up the side, do the trim, and then add the handle. For today's demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to do the 16 ounce size and then give you directions on how to do the 20 ounce size or even if you want to make it longer. I'm starting with the color that I chose for the bottom, which is this sort of variegated orange. Reminds me of an orange pill. We'll start with our slip knot. We're going to chain five. We're going to join this in a circle. So we'll put the tail of our yarn over our hook and pull it through our loop. Snug that down and just add that little stay knot so it doesn't come undone. All right, now we're going to stitch a chain three so we're going to go in that chain five loop pull up a loop and chain three this chain three counts as our first double crochet and now we're going to double crochet 11 double crochets around this chain five so yarn over go in pull up a loop yarn over go through the first two yarn over and go through the second two All right, now our chain three counts is our first double crochet. We want to stitch 11 more, so we have a total of 12. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, All right, that should be 12, but let's make sure. Always count because it's better to count twice than to count once and be wrong. One, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have my 12 double crochets. I'm going to join to the top of that chain three we started with, with a slip stitch. Pull that loop through, then pull that loop through the loop on your hook, and we're going to go ahead and chain three. Now, we're going to turn this over because we stitched over that beginning tail of yarn and just give it a good pull and close up that hole in the center. All right, so there is row one. All right, let's do row two. For row two, our chain three counts is our first double crochet. And we're going to double crochet in that same stitch as our chain three. And then we're going to place two double crochets in each of the double crochets around. And we started with 12, and this is going to give us 24 double crochets. Two double crochets in each of the double crochets around. We'll stitch this till we get back around and we'll join to the top of our chain three. I've stitched those two double crochets in each double crochet around. I'm going to join to the chain three with a slip stitch and this time we're only going to chain two. This chain two counts as our first half double crochet and we're going to stitch one half double crochet in each of the double crochets around. So we'll yarn over, we'll go in the top of the next stitch, pull up a loop, you'll still have three loops on your hook. We'll yarn over and we'll go through all three of those loops. We're stitching one half double crochet in each of the double crochets around. And since we're not doing any more increasing, we'll still have 24 stitches. They'll just be half double crochet stitches. And you'll also notice that it's starting to curl up a little bit. And that's what we want it to do. This is actually the outside. And that's what we want it to do because we're beginning to form the sides of our water bottle koozie. So to complete this row, one half double crochet in each half double crochet around. And then we'll join to that chain two with a slip stitch. I completed that row of half double crochets. You should have 24 half double crochets. We're going to join to the chain two. And this is where I'm changing colors. So I'm not going to do my next chain two just yet. I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn and I'm going to bring in my second yarn. Now remember, if you're doing yours all one color, you don't have to change colors here. Or if you're wanting to do something different with your colors, you don't have to change colors here either. It's up to you how often and when you want to change colors. Just remember that you need to do your color change and then do your chain two or chain three or chain four or whatever stitch your next row has because if not, you end up with one stitch that's the wrong color. For instance, I'm going to do another row of half double crochets. If I were to go ahead and do my chain two in this bottom color, I would have that first stitch in this orange instead of the yellow. So now I'm going to do my chain two, which counts as my first half double crochet, and then I'm going to again stitch one half double crochet in each of the half double crochets around.
So to repeat, one half double crochet in each of the half double crochets around and then we'll join to that chain two with a slip stitch of course. I've completed that second row of half double crochets and I wanted to show you right here that if I would have done that chain two in the first color I would have that first stitch in orange and it wouldn't look very neat. All right, so now we're going to do row five and row five is where we're going to begin our open area of our stitches right here. And we're going to be stitching triple crochets. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain five and the chain five counts as one triple and a chain one. We're going to skip the next stitch and then we're going to stitch a triple in the next stitch. So we're going to do two wraps over our hook. We're skipping this stitch so we'll go in the next stitch. We'll go in and pull up a loop. You'll have four loops that are on your hook. Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over, go through the second two. Yarn over and go through the third two. And chain one. And now we'll repeat that working all the way around. Skip the next stitch, put two wraps on your hook, go in the next stitch and stitch that triple. Pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, go through the second two, third two and chain one. And that's what's given us our nice open areas. Two wraps, skip the next stitch, Make sure you chain one after your triple. And so this is what the repeat is working around our koozie. Triple, chain one, skip one. Triple, chain one, skip one. Triple, chain one, skip one. Oops two wraps. And this is a great project if you've never done a triple stitch to practice. Because you can see your stitches nice and clearly because of the spaces in between. It makes a nice tall stitch and works great for this project. And chain one. You'll notice as I'm stitching my triple, let me go in and pull up my loop, that I'll yarn over and I'll grab it right here and I'll go through those two loops. Then I'll yarn over and when I do that I'll grab the next portion and then pull through those two loops. And that just helps with keeping it where it needs to be. Just something that I do. One of my little quirks you could say. triple, chain one, and skip one, and we'll continue working this all the way around. I completed that row, and you should have 12 triple stitches and 12 spaces in between. All right, we end on a chain one, skip one. We join to the fourth chain, not the fifth, with a slip stitch. There we go. Because remember that chain five counted as a triple and a chain one. And now we're going to chain two. There we go. Now this next row is a row of half double crochets. And the way that you stitch that, our chain two here counts as our first half double crochet. Then we'll stitch a half double crochet going in that chain one space and then we'll stitch a half double crochet in the triple. We'll stitch a half double crochet going in that chain one space and it's just called a chain one space because it's just the hole that's left when we chained one. And so the repeat for row number six is one half double crochet in the chain one space, 
one half double crochet in the triple working all the way around looks like little windows doesn't it <laughs> and that's exactly what we want it to look like all right so i'll continue stitching one half double crochet in the chain one spaces one half double crochet in the top of my triple working all the way around and when we get back over here we'll join to the top of our chain two I've completed that row of half double crochets. Make sure you have 24 or you'll get your counts off. We're going to chain two and we're going to stitch one half double crochet in each of the half double crochets around. one half double crochet in each of the half double crochets around and we'll join back here at our chain two i've completed that second row of half double crochets all the way around and again you need 24 half double crochets now the way that the pattern works if you're making the 16 ounce size koozie you need to repeat these three rows that's rows five through seven two more times if you're making the 20 ounce size you'll need to repeat rows five through seven three more times this one is the 20 ounce size you can see we repeated it one two three more times I've completed those two repeats of the triple with the chain one in between and then two rows of half double crochet two times now remember this is for the 16 ounce if I was doing the 20 ounce like this one I would do the repeat three more times all right so I've gone ahead and joined to my chain two I've trimmed my yarn off I'm going to grab my new color because I'm changing colors here. Snug that down and chain one. We're going to be doing three rows of single crochet around just to give a nice sturdy band on our water bottle cozy. All right, the chain one does not count as a stitch, so we'll go right in that first half double crochet and stitch a single crochet and then we'll stitch a single crochet in each of the stitches around and again we'll have 24 stitches because we didn't add or subtract any stitches around so I'm stitching one single crochet in each of the half double crochets around And again, I've changed back to my first color. I've stitched my single crochets all the way around, and we need to join to the first single crochet, not the chain one, but the first single crochet. There we go, snug that down with a slip stitch and chain one. And now we're just going to repeat two more rows of single crochet so one single crochet in each of the single crochets around join to the first single crochet chain one and repeat this way we have three rows of single crochets at the top of our cozy or koozie <laughs> I've completed those three rows of single crochet at the top of the koozie and now we're going to form the handle for the smaller one the 16 ounce I like to chain 26 chains for the longer one the 20 ounce I usually chain 45 chains 
but the size of the handle is up to you. If you like a really long handle on your koozie, then make the chain longer. For this one, since it's the 16 ounce, I'm going to chain 26. Once you've chained the length you want for your handle, we're going to turn and half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. Here's the first chain, here's the second. And then we'll half double crochet working all the way back to where we started, back to the top of our koozie. One half double crochet in each chain, no matter what size handle you're making. Once you have double crocheted all the way back to that last chain, you're going to slip stitch in the next single crochet, chain one and turn. And now we're going to single crochet in each of those half double crochets, working back up the handle. And this is going to give us a nice sturdy handle. So we're single crocheting back up the handle, placing one, whoops, there we go, one single crochet in each of the half double crochets. So I've single crocheted back up the half double crochets and I'm going to cut off my yarn. Now I'm going to leave myself a good amount of yarn just to give me some so that I can sew it on to the opposite side for a nice sturdy handle. So we'll go ahead and tie that off, snug that down, grab our needle and thread it into our needle. Sometimes threading onto the cotton or threading the cotton can be a little bit tricky. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to lay this flat, make sure it's nice and centered, and then we're going to bring this handle and we're going to flip it like this and line it up. Stitching it on with whip stitches. There we go. Wants to get hooked up there. Okay, I like to go that way and then I like to go back over it. Just make more whip stitches. And I think this makes it a little bit neater and also gives us something to weave our yarn into. All right, so now I'm going to go in those stitches I made and weave that in. And then I'll go back the other way. So some of those stitches and then just go to the inside of the koozie. So I, don't, I don't want my handle to come off, so I want to make sure I got a lot of stitches in there. There we go. And then you'll see that it looks much neater when you flip it over. Alright, so there is our handle. There's our water bottle koozie. So here is the completed 16 ounce water bottle koozie with a bottle inside. Now this is a bottle of pop. It's a Dr. Pepper bottle, so that tells you that it will fit the 16 ounce plastic bottles. And this one is the 20 ounce. And if you look at the handles, this one has the longer handle, this one has the shorter handle. So it's up to you what size you want to make your handle. 
and of course, your water bottle koozies.